I was sent a poster by Macdonald Gill from a gallery in London called the Altea Gallery. And they were very kind enough to send me a JPEG of the poster. And in the email they wrote, Leslie Macdonald Gill, Cable and Wireless Great Circle Map, London, Edward Standard for Cable and Wireless, 1945 Colour Printed Map. 98 mil 980 millimetres times 1220 millimetres laid on canvas and mounted on a contemporary spring loaded roller. A superb poster map on an azimuffle or great circle projection showing the world in one great sphere with London at the centre. The objective is to show the pass of radio beams from London to the far reaches of the empire in straight lines. On this projection the radio waves to to Sydney pass over Moscow correctly, whereas on a Mercator projection map, a straight line would cross Arabia. As the map was commissioned by Cable and Wireless, the decorative borders relate to their business with a background of pylons. The four corner round L's depict SS Great Eastern 1865, which laid the first lasting transatlantic telegraph cable in 1866. A modern cable ship, a wireless transmitter, and a mobile telegraph star Mediterranean. The two smaller roundels show cable loading into boat and cable transfer gear. Leslie MacDonald Gill, 1884 to 1947, younger brother of Eric Gill, specialised in graphic design in the arts and craft style. His most important commission was for the Imperial War Graves Commission, designing the script used on commission headstones and war memorials. He produced a number of maps, two of which appeared in the British Exhibition, Magnificent Maps in 2010, the Wonderground Map of London 1914, and Tea Revives the World 1940. This was his last poster map. And the gallery that sent it to me just asked me to mention them, the Atlea Gallery in West One in London. Thank you very much. One hundred proofs the earth is not a globe. Proof number 25, the first Atlantic cable. The surveyor's plans in relation to laying of the first Atlantic telegraph cable show that in 1,665 miles from Valencia Island to St. John's Newfoundland, the surface of the Atlantic Ocean is a level surface, not the astronomer's level either. The authoritative drawings published at the time are a standing evidence of the fact and form a practical proof that the earth is not a globe. As you see here, Jay Dreamers restored the videos that it was taken down by copyright strike. I appreciate that, Jay. Thank you.